How's it going everyone? It is your boy Codexual, and today we're going to be showing you how to port forward on your AT&T U-verse cable, or excuse me, modem slash router. Now, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, get the post notifications turned on, like the video, share this on all of your social media. As this channel grows, you grow with us, we become one big happy family, and education to the whole world. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So on your router slash modem, you want to make sure that you enter in 192.168.1.254 onto your web browser. Now, if nothing shows up, one way to find out what your IP address for that gateway is, is you want to type in, here, let me clear this up. Oops. You want to open up your command prompt and type in IP config, and it will show your default gateway than the IP address. So mine shows the 192.168.1.1. However, that is my external router. So this won't show for you. It'll show a different IP address, which should be the 192.168.1.254. Anyhow, that's uh, one way to get to it. Or there is a sticker on the side of the modem that will have the information. So just read that correctly. Now, what we want to do is go towards our customize firewall, and let's go ahead and click on that. Now, if on the next page it asks for an access code, I don't know what that is. You're going to have to find out what it is. So, once you get onto this page right here, it'll say firewall, then applications, pinholes, and DMZ. So, you want to select the computer that you want to port forward, so or the device, and it could be either one of these, and we're just going to go choose iPad, for example, or if you don't know which device is which, because it's this is unknown, that's unknown. All this could be uh, confusing. Again, back on your command prompt, and let's go ahead and bring that here. And this is, let's just say, this is the computer that you want to port forward. All you gotta do is type in IP config, and right there is the port forwarding, so it's gonna be 192.168.1.149. Uh, um, so I'm just letting you know it could be that. So, uh, once you have uh, put in the IP address right here or choose the device that you want to port for it, all you want to do is scroll down and it will say user defined or if you have a game or something that categorizes in here, check that out first. But if you have a specific port that you want to port forward, click on user defined. Okay, now go ahead and scroll down and add a, U, a new user defined application and it's going to ask you for the application name so it can be um if you're I, just name it whatever it's related to so we're just going to put in server um is it a tcp or is it a udp so put in the port number we're just going to put in port 80 that that's a web port number then you want to choose the default time or the default seconds, which is right here. If it's on a UDP, choose 60 seconds and just leave this blank. Now it's asking for the application type. So if none of this applies, just leave that blank and go ahead and uh, click add the list. Now you're going to have to do the same stuff, um, the same routine. And if it requires a UDP port, then after you're done adding it to a list, hit back. I'm not going to put it in here, but um, I'm just going to let you know how to do it properly. Then um, you select the, you go select back on the user to define. And wherever it was, let's just pretend that this was the server that we named. Then you click add, then it'll be right here. And all you got to do is click save. And that's it. Now, if you are wanting to port over everything... I'm letting you know that there could be a flaw because if you were to open up every single port, that could be a security issue. So just letting you know about that. If you want to allow all the, um, all the applications, you can do that. And all you got to do is click that. So all of this, you don't have to add all the user defined. So all you got to do is uh, click on this bubble and it's still selected on the iPad. Then hit save. Then all you got to do is, can you, 
go to the website canyouseeme.org and make sure that the server is running on the computer and it'll tell you if it successfully made a handshake or met that connection. So that's it. That's how you port forward on the AT&T U-verse cable slash modems. And the one that we're using is the Pace 5268 AC. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, and we'll see you in the next video and share this on with all of your friends on the, every social media that you own. So yeah, y'all take care. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again Chasing Benjamins, grinding till the very end Yeah, every day I'm feeling great Better than the day before and you can see it on my face Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate I can see all 